Hello, Loveland Magazine viewers. Cassie Mattia here, and I have something very special in store for you guys today. We have the school history changing men and women's Loveland High School cross country team. Now, both teams made it to state this year. Um, actually, the women won regionals, and it's the first time in school history. Congratulations. With the men, now I know, I know you guys have made three trips to regionals, which is excellent, so good for you guys as well. And there's a lot of you that are in the top in the ECC. I've done my stats, my stats check per usual. So, um, so we're gonna go around, we're gonna introduce everybody and uh, bear with me. We're gonna go through all the names because I want everybody to get their fame and glory here and uh, what grade they're in. So I'm gonna start down here and I'm just gonna kind of go across, all right? And what's your name and what's your grade? I'm Jesse Gibbons and I'm a senior. Oh, I know who you are. I'm Emmy Sager and I'm a senior. All right. I'm Allie Colgate and I'm a junior. I'm Lauren Gard, I'm a sophomore. I'm Madison Knatzer, I'm a junior. What about you back there? Uh, I'm Ryan Chevalier, I'm a senior. What about you? I'm JP2, I'm also a senior. Okay. I'm Sarah Maddox, I'm a senior. I'm Micah Snyder and I'm a senior. All right. I'm Brady Steiner, I'm a junior. I'm Alex Saletta and I'm a junior. All right. Uh, Caden Dyer, I'm a junior. I'm Grant Hanson, I'm a junior. I'm Sam Niger and I'm a senior. I'm Nick Huff and I'm a freshman. Whoa! A freshman? I was like, senior, senior, junior, junior, junior. I was like, dang, no wonder you guys are stacked. No, I'm just kidding. All right, so I want to talk a little bit about the stats here. So first time in school history, both teams have ever qualified. What the heck? Do we have captains as well? Captains? Who's the captains? Ryan? All right, Ryan, come on forward. I want you to speak on that because that is huge for you. You've been here for four years. How does that feel, both teams going to state? Well, it's it's really a, it's a pleasure being with these boys, running with these boys. I mean, every week it seems like a new group of guys step up and push us through and um, get the job done, to be honest. And we, we haven't had that depth in past years, which is why like, it hasn't been as consistent as you know, we have been this year. Yeah. Right. Now, now with you, real quick, while I'm here, uh, you know, you're, you're not very good at running or anything, right? Uh, I don't run a lot, no. Yeah, I didn't think so, no. <laughs> no. So, right now, Ryan, as I was looking at the stats here, you're still number two in the ECC at 1543 at the Loveland District Championships. 1543. Well, how does, so how will that stack up against the state peoples? Actually, my uh, conversion PR for 5K from the three mile is 15.11. Ooh! So, we got to get it right. I mean, yeah, if you want to look at that. But, <laughs> yeah, 15.43 uh, is, the, is the real one. Um, yeah, it stacks up all right. Um, I think I'll run a lot better than the time uh, permits because, I mean, you know, cross country is not about time. It's about place. I'm, I'm just going to beat everyone out there. Amen. I love the confidence. Now, uh, team captain for the women, who we got? All right. So tell me a little bit about this experience. Now, for you, I know you guys broke school records when you all ran. Was it under 19? 19, five of you in the same exact race? Tell me about that. It was something we saw coming as we've been running since summer, I guess, and our training's been really good, really hard. We're getting the work done. Coach is putting us through the best workouts to just have, have us improving throughout the season, which is helping. Wow. And so, so with that being the captain, right, so the girls, you guys made it to the regional or state, sorry, 2007, right, 2019, and now 2021. Now, with that, you have – this is crazy. I, I'm just, I can't believe this. You have five ladies in the top 10 for the ECC, and all those times are under 19 minutes. Now, if you guys don't know what that means, that's crazy. Running a 5K under 19 minutes as a lady in high school, I mean, that's some college times. Tell me about that. How are you guys running under 19? And honestly, most of it, I mean, you had it at the Loveland Sunset Invitational and the districts. I mean, that's, that's pretty early. You guys still have a lot to give. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, so we, it helps a lot to start out as a pack and we'll stay together for like the first, first mile or two and then we'll just break off for whoever can go from there. But a okay. lot of pack running is what just helps us stay together and push each other. Now, now I want to talk to Miss, Miss Jesse Gibbons. Come on down here. Girl, you're number one in the ECC right now with your time, 1819. So tell me about that. Tell me about how you trained, because a lot of people out there have no idea what this entails. I ran in college. I know what it entails. I know David behind the camera. He actually ran too, believe it or not, back in his time. Wasn't as intense. Might have been dirt roads or something. 
We don't know. I'm just kidding. That's not an old joke. <laughs> but Jesse, yeah, so tell me. Tell me about your training. And I know peaking is very important, too. Um, I'm sure Coach strategically made that, you know, certain workouts at certain times. So tell me about that. So um, during the summer, we really started picking up our mileage. And so now it's mainly just about tapering and making sure we don't too, do too much towards the end of, end of the season because our work is kind of already logged and we're just making sure we stay fit. And um, a lot of our practice, we just encourage each other and always push each other to be our best. So a lot of it comes from that group encouragement. That is so awesome. And obviously I see you guys down on the bike trail all the time because that's where I live. So I know you guys were getting after it for a very, very long time. So I'm going to go through a few more stats here. So we got number four in the ECC. We have Emmy. Congratulations, 1832. Uh, number five, Sarah Maddox with 1836. Number seven, Allie Colgate, um, 1850. And then we have Madison Conister, 1857. Boys, you ready for your stats? Obviously you have Ryan. Uh, number four is Brady. 1555 and then we have number seven Caden Dyer 1622 and Nick Huff the freshman let's go 1629 you both were ECC champs congrats I, I know you guys took it in uh, 2019 as well um, but this is the first time ever or in a while in a while okay so tell me about that how's that feel yeah 15 years I mean holy if you Sam if you want to come up and speak Nick on are you ECC 15 yet or yeah. no I'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> I mean yeah, come on up, man. Speakers. Talk about so, it. So uh, last year we had our sights set on the championship. Uh, we had a pretty good team last year, and unfortunately we weren't able to get it done on the day. So that was definitely a driving force this year. Since that day last year, we've been saying 53-57, which is the score we lost uh, to Lebanon by. Oh. And this year we were able to use that to fuel our fire and come back strong, and thankfully we were able to get it done this year. Amen to that. Now, now tell me, I'm sure workouts are somewhat similar. Um, who wants to talk about the men's workouts? I want to hear all about that. Tell me about it. Were they hard? Were they easy? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> all right, so uh, in the summer, we'll start out with our harder workouts and uh, keep building them up till about the season starts. And we'll start working them down a little, but keep them hard and consistent. And uh, we would uh, do high mileage in the summer, and we've been cutting our mileage down now. Okay, okay. So that's, that's how we get to that peaking. Peak. Yep. yep. Amen to that. So let's talk about the OATCCC. For those of you that don't know what that is, the Ohio Association of Track and Cross Country Coaches. So this is a huge poll in the state of Ohio. So women, you're number one. And who wants to talk about that? I mean, you guys have been number one most of the season. Who wants to talk about being number one in Ohio? Come on, don't be shy. Who we got? Who we got? How about, what's, what about Emmy? <laughs> No, no, Emmy. What about Sarah? Sure. I know you want to talk. Um, well, just goes along with all our training and something like two years ago, I believe it was, we placed six in the state, and then now we're just working our way up with our training and just having, being encouraged, having great coaches, yeah. great teammates. Even the boys push us on some workouts and we get to run with them. Just and then you beat them sometimes too, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> now, with that, I remember – when I was in college running and our team was pretty good, have you had the experience yet where you come up and the other team see you and they're like, oh, crap? Um, we think about it. We talk <laughs> about it. Whenever we get there, we're like, guys, we're leveling. Like, what are these other people <laughs> thinking? But it's just like every other race. Like, we try like, not to be, like, way up there. See, you're humble. Ourselves. I love that. What about you guys? Has anybody, like, you get up to the starting line and people are like, that's Loveland? You all are number seven in Ohio. Congratulations. So tell me a little bit about that, anybody. Somebody that hasn't spoke yet. Um, uh, Come on, Frosh. Come on now. So I feel like we've been really disrespected, and <laughs> no one's really looked at us as the top competitor, but I feel we've proven that a lot. Yeah. And that's been a motivation uh, for the season is just kind of we've got nothing to lose. Now let's leave it all out there. See, I love the fact that you were just so honest because that's frustrating. You're busting your butt all year, and just because, what, because you're number seven in the state, you don't get respect? That's ridiculous. You won the ECC, which is hard. It's a hard conference, especially, I know, on the men's side, very hard. Talk about the conference. Um, or just the conference know. championships, how it felt to win. To win. It felt, this is my first year, so it, it felt pretty good, but for them, I'm sure it was a completely, it was really good for them. Um, I think it was great to be a part of. 
and just overall it felt good to beat everyone. They're going to have a send-off here at um, Loveland High School on Friday at 10.35 for both teams, right? Am I correct on that? So I'll give you a little bit of the state information. It is on OSHA's website, too. Um, so Division One state info, uh, the girls are going to run at 3 p.m., and the boys are going to run at 4 p.m., and it's going to be at Fortress Obitz and Memorial Park. Everybody, if you want to come up, the tickets are online. Now, before we sign off here, what do we want to say? What's in our minds right now as you guys, you know, you're going to make that trip here soon. It's just a few days. Who wants to speak on what they're thinking about and how you guys are preparing for that big day? We, Anybody? we know how fast we are. It's just about competing. It's about beating the guy next to us and uh, catching the guy in front of us. And that about wraps it up. If you can just catch the guy in front of you, you're doing pretty well. So um, yep. we're just going to compete. We're, we're a family. Um, we're going to go for it. Wise words, wise words. Yeah. What about a female? What y'all thinking about? Let me know. Pretty much the same thing as what JP said. Like, we've done all the work up to this point. Now we just have to done something we've never done. Like, do the things we've done all year. Nothing, like, yep. super different, as Coach Wilkerson has said. See, there you go. Great coaching, obviously, um, has been, I mean, I would say great coaching for multiple years. I mean, you guys have been good for quite a long time at this point. One of the most successful seasons for both sides. Guys, please, if you have nothing to do, Go support them on Saturday, okay? Support them at um, o Fortress Obits. And hey, you know what? Post it on social. Post pictures of these kids. We need the, as much support as we can get here in Loveland, Ohio, because I'm telling you, this might be the only time you see this for a while. I mean, this is crazy. This is school history. They're gonna go down in history. They're gonna go down in history. Please support these awesome teams. Guys, thank you so much. Can we get a little Go Tigers before we sign off? Ready? Three, two, one, go Tigers! See you later, Loveland.